Okay, this is a nice silhouette image that we're going to apply a very dramatic sky with the new sky replacement feature. So first, let's go ahead and make a great selection. Choose the quick selection tool, the one right over here. It's going to allow the select subject button to pop up in the tool menu bar at the top, two options bar, and then choose select and mask to see what it did. Okay, it did a pretty good job. So generally, I'm going to make sure my smart radius is set to around two or three pixels. And then I'm going to click the refine hair button and let's see how good of a job it does around the edges. Okay, it did okay. I'm going to pass over with this refine edge brush wherever I see a little bit of that white area coming through. And I think that's probably good enough. I'm going to output it to a new layer with layer mask. Click OK. So now I have my original background. Actually, so I'm going to select the background layer. I'm going to turn off that mask layer that we created. And I'm just going to go up to Edit Sky Replacement. Pull this over. It's going to apply whatever the first sky was that it found. And notice it wasn't even a sky back there. But Photoshop thinks it's a sky because it's such a uniform color. And I want you to go find... That looks nice. Blue skies. Let me look at that one. I actually like that. So I'm just going to click outside of this box so I can go back to here. I'm not going to change any of the default settings. I think it did okay. I'm just going to click okay and it's going to apply everything in a folder. See there's your folder and notice they created all these individual masks to figure it out and match the colors. I mean it did a really really good job. I'm going to close that folder. I want to toggle on our selection see if ours was any better. Ours was not better. See I have this, this kind of gray halo which just doesn't work with this particular sky. Now, what I can do is I can click on that mask, drag it down to the trash, and it says, do you want to apply it? And I'm going to say yes. But here's another technique. While, while you just have a silhouette with no layer mask attached, you can go up to layer, down to matting, and say remove white mat, because it's more white around the edges of the hair. Watch this. That did a pretty good job. I'm going to turn that off and on. I still have to say that it basically did a better job with its mask. So I'm just going to delete everything that we did there. And maybe crop this. Remember, everything looks a little better cropped. And now I want to give more of a blue tint to the person. So at the very top, I'm just going to B for the brush tool, hold down the auto option key and select that blue. Click on the foreground swatch of the blue and just maybe choose lighter. Click OK. Go over to edit, down to fill, and choose foreground color because we just picked that foreground color specifically for this. Click OK. That looks awesome. Nope. Got to go down to your blend modes and choose color. There we go. And then lower that opacity. Remember, the volume is always 100%. Now, notice what it's doing, and it depends on what we want. I'm, I'm tempering the cloudscape and the person right now, which is okay. But if I want to just temper the person, I need to open up this folder and go find that layer mask. Remember, hold down the Alt or Option key, and it's going to let me click and copy and pull it up. Now, what did it do? did the opposite of what we want because white reveals black conceals. So I need to select that layer mask by clicking on it, get the white corners, scroll up here and choose invert. Say it. Now look, now the blue is being applied just to the person, but in a weird way, right? We don't really want it to be applying so hard to the hair, just more of the skin tones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be for the brush and I'm just going to come in and paint with black to kind of hide that on the edges of the hair where it sticks out and looks weird all around here, but I'm leaving it on this face and skin tones. And if that was too much, I can come back by hitting the X key and maybe typing five for 50% and paint it back. I think I like it better at 50% back here. Up here, maybe it's still a little too harsh. So I'll hit X again. There we go. Save this out. Here's the next one. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to go over to edit sky replacement. Got to let it load its first sky. I want more of a sunset -y sky. Toggle that down. How about sunsets? Hopefully you've downloaded the spectacular pack by now, which is covering the 2022 sky replacement video. Ooh, that looks nice. What does that look like? Oh yeah, that's a winner right there. That's the winner. I'm not going to adjust anything, though I can, you know, make, make this guy brighter in the background. Um, I can fade the edge, foreground lighting, color adjustment, but, but that looks fine. I'm just click OK. It's going to figure all the stuff out. It's going to give me a mask. I'm going to accept the mask. I'm going to select the very top, Command, Option, Shift, Letter E. And I don't like that light bar right here, so grab your spot retouching tool, which is a spot healing brush. And remember the trick. If you click once here and you make your brush a little bit bigger than what you're trying to remove, go to the end and hold the Shift key, it will do a straight line for you so you don't have to meticulously paint. And there we go. Didn't do a great job, so I'll make a bigger brush. 
and just do another quick pass. Remember, you can pass over it as many times as you want. I think that birds add something nice. So I'm going to leave the birds. And then I think I would just pop over to the camera raw filter. I tend to go here a lot for my final post-production stuff and just see, you know, do I want a little bit more clarity? Uh, I like that. I'll put a little bit more warmth in it, something like that. Pull down the highlights because they're clipping. And then I would probably go to detail because I'm enhancing a little bit of the noise. So pull down some of that color reduction and noise reduction just to make it look a little softer in the skin tones, something like that. Maybe bring up the shadow details just a touch. Highlights back down again where it's clipping. It's a good photojournalist trick of vignetting the corners dark. Keep your focus in the image. I'm going to do that. Click OK. And so we came from this to this real quick. Save it out. So this is one of your images to work on for this assignment. I want you to open it, go to filter, down to neuro filters. You know how to do this already. And we're going to choose smart portrait. And for whatever reason, maybe for some client or ad, you need to shift the age of your model. So I'm going to drag this all the way to plus 50 years. It doesn't mean 50 years, just means 50. It's processing in the cloud. And remember that blue box tells you what it's selected. That's actually pretty good. Maybe pull down the hair thickness a bit. You tend to lose your hair as you get older. At least I do. All right, click OK. And then I want to apply it a second time. Filter. Oh, that one really, really made it a lot older, right? So I'm going to click OK. Now, obviously, there's a little bit of weirdness around the edges of the head. What I'm going to do is just, I'm going to layer mask that in a touch. Add a layer mask. B for brush. Five for 50%. And I'm just going to come in and pull a little bit of that gray off of the edges, two for 20%, or you can just drag this. I just want to paint with a lower opacity brush. There we go. Something like that. Hit X for the, the white in case I want to get a couple of stripes of gray. Let me turn all of this off and go back to the original. All right, so there's little weirdness going around right behind the person which is totally fine. I'm going to command option shift letter E. I'm going to see if it will find the subject by choosing the quick selection tool and select subject. Good. It just got uh, pretty much what I wanted it to get. That looks nice. Check out the hair just a little bit. Alter option click if it went too far. Outfit when you layer layer mask. Great. So I can turn this back on, select that layer because I want to hit the S key for the clone stamp tool. So I can come in option click and see I can just that's too big. I don't want the crossbar. I just want to paint that vertical. See that space by his head? Let me zoom in so you can see what I'm talking about. See this little weird edge? So alter option, click right on that straight edge, pull it down. See how this fixing that weirdness? Get around around the edge here. Alter option, click here, because that's weird. Right by oops, see that little thing I did? Command Z. Alter option click, just go straight down, straight down, straight down. That really helped. I mean, it's not perfect, but it, there's some other, I'm not sure what kind of weirdness is going on there. Let's turn all this off. Okay. Definitely some weirdness going on there. The way I'd fix this little bit of weirdness and see there's some cheek weirdness. So I had command option shift letter E, and I'm gonna go choose everything that we've done. And hit Command or Control G, put it in a folder, turn it off. So here he is. It looks like this one has one applied to it too. So I'll go ahead and pull that up until that group. Now, okay, here he is. And here's what we've done. So it looks like it made the jawline a little saggier. Don't like what it did to the neck and this little weird part down here. So let's just tweak that a little bit. So go to the old layer, add a layer mask, B for brush, zero for 100% opacity up here small brush because essentially we just want to bring back those cheekbones and it's only going to work if you're painting with black so hit the x key to swap to paint on this white mask and i'm going to pull back his original cheekbone and then i'm going to kind of make this brush smaller get rid of some of this cheekbone where it's a little blurry maybe go back to his original cheek jawline i won't make them heavy on that side maybe fix the neck right here I don't like this neck right here, so I'll go back to his original neck. I'll hit 5 for 50%. Right? And then I want to clean up this part, too. I'll hit 0 because I want 100% fix here. I'm going to go back to his original neck with a dark hair. Fix his ear. Did it do weird things to his ear over here? It did. It made his ears grow. Because remember, your ears grow when you get older. I'm going to have to leave that. 
maybe I can get rid of that dark edge. All right, that's about as good as I'm gonna get it. Hit Command and Control Zero. So, young to old, what do you think? Really didn't do a bad job, save it out. Next image, got some acne issues. Now the new skin smoothing filter does amazing work. Let's help it along a little bit. I hit Command and Control J to duplicate it, grab the spot healing brush tool, and make my brush just a little bigger than the blemish. Paint, paint, paint. Smaller brush, left bracket key, paint, 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 paint. Typically you should remove a mole, but I'm gonna remove this one because this one's gonna be for my website, not for a client, not for a retail client. It's more a commercial client. Commercial clients, they don't care about moles. If you're being hired by a person, they might wanna keep their mole. So there's the acne before, and there's the quick retouch. But now we're gonna go up to filter, Neuro filter, and we're going to choose skin smoothing by turning it on with that toggle switch. It's going to put a blue box around what it thinks is the face. Did a pretty good job. I'm going to increase the blur and the smoothness just a touch, and it's not going to mess up everything else. And it's still going to keep the pores on the skin. It's just going to smooth it out a touch. I'll go a little extreme so you can see the effect. Click OK. Now here we, here, do you see the difference? This is just the skin smoothing. Applied, not applied. You see how it just softened the contrast, but it still kept the texture of the skin? And again, we started here. So save that out. You're finished with this part already. Hey, if you like this video and it helped, you can help me. Smack it, whack it, and crack a lack it. Take care. I like subscribers. That's awesome. Whoa. Yes! <laughs> Hey, you stayed to the end. You know what that means. You're awesome. I'm talking about you. Now get out of here.